welcome to odisha state open university in this session i am dr sarvesha chirath director academy for skill training recruitment and advancement hyderabad also the editor for the monthly marketing journal marketing guru welcome you all to this session on the fundamentals of marketing today we will begin the session by asking few questions like when we wake up in the morning we use our day to day activities with a toothpaste by starting our day and having a morning tea or coffee then you go for reading a newspaper then you go for our dress then we use our laptop the internet the bike or car we use with all this we start our day to day activities now is this all because of some activity called marketing now all of you may be knowing like marketing is basically a art of selling is discipline of distribution is it only selling is it only promotion what else now let's understand more about the basics of marketing in terms of what it gives us now let's look at the definition by peter drucker the father of marketing business is marketing and marketing only so let us understand the whole business function talks about marketing it's an art it's a business function it's a process it's a relationship it's a science so marketing overly is an amalgamation of a science and art relationship building sites and a process as well now to understand more about marketing let's understand why a person buy something why do we buy a laptop why do we buy mobile phone why do we buy our regular staple for food items to know this let's understand the concept of first we start with buying because we need something now what is a need the need is basically when you feel the absence of something with us for example i am feeling hungry so i need food so food is my need i am feeling thirsty so i need water so what is my need so from need so when you are feeling hungry now i have got different options with me option one i can go for a pizza or burger i can go for some local idli or dosa i can go for a noodle or i can go for only glass of water or juice now these are called wants so need plus direction is equal to want now suppose i have got a need and i am very clear that i would like to go for a glass of juice and then i look for my purse now if that is no money then probably i may not fulfill my need for asking of a juice glass so what i do i satisfy my need with an alternative means so therefore demand is the third factor which is basically my interest to fulfill my need and my ability to fulfill my need so need want demand are the three basic sets of marketing the marketing process starts with it now let us go to the next level of understanding how the marketing process happens now let me ask a questions like whenever we are writing with a pen the pen does the function of writing for us now this is the utility of a pen a pen writes now whether a parker pen writes better or an ordinary pen writes better that depends on the quality of writing the usage we put into it now a pen could be of very much use when we are needing it at the time of an emergency however this is called the value for a product so what is value basically value is what we give and what we get the ratio of what we give and what we get now marketers add value to their product that's the reason we are preferring products because they are more valuable in terms of various types of values we talk about now what are the various types of value we talk about here each the tangible values and the intangible values now what are the tangible values for example the functional value 
a 4 gb ram and a 8 gb ram on a laptop or a mobile phone gives a different functional value now i am buying a laptop because of a functional value yes also i am buying a laptop because it suits my budget then i am talking about an economic value of buying a particular product now whether i will look good when i am using this product that's my social value is it social acceptable why do i prefer buying a 200 cc bike because all my friends all my colleagues use it and therefore i will go for it the third uh, value we talk about the convenience value is it convenient to use so this convenience value is the next most important value for using a product then comes your sensory and aesthetic value does it look very cute does it is it lightweight is it slick now these are the values that a customer looks for even while buying various products like food items or laptops or any other usable items or utility items now all these values types comprise of our or the customers buying decision making process now let's go for the next level of marketing what happens here the, when you go to uh, buy a product we go to either a marketplace or we buy it online what call market space so whether it is market space or place what happens here we order for a product then the buy, the seller sells us the product in exchange of some value that's called money now when a transaction happens we get the product pay the price then a transaction is said to be done now this is called the process of exchange and transaction that confirms the marketing process going to the next level now next question what are we actually transacting we are transacting either a product or a service now what is a product or service basically product and service are a bundle of utilities every product has got some utilities now this utilities will remain constant irrespective of who is using the product but the value definitely changes because the value of a product or the value of a water bottle when we are in kashmir may not be the same when you are using in some other place where it is very hot therefore the values are the deciding factor for a customer buying particular product or service now the old age definition of market age is, is a place where buyers and seller go together however that's no more existing today because the marketplace has become market space so therefore the style the dynamics of marketing is definitely changed so let's understand from the new dimension of marketing in terms of marketing is a management process of identifying anticipating and satisfying customer needs profitably to be underlined now when everybody offers the same kind of product same kind of pricing then why should a customer buy product a not product b there comes the role of marketing because the market here tries to identify what is the customer need today now if you remember look at aerial aerial detergent powder came into existence then you have got aerial super soaker the aerial liquid detergent and aerial bar so aerial detergent aerial liquid and aerial bar cater to three different income segment of the market and this happened because they identified the need for a, a lower end product that's called the bar and the higher end product that's the liquid similar is the case with all the products available in the market now marketing function is identifying these needs then anticipating the customer needs it is not about only identifying you should anticipate also why this hap need happens so practically we are talking about if you remember side stand indicator on a bike was never a feature or a power steering was never a feature in the old days first time hyundai sold the car on the basis of the power steering and side stand indicator was the selling point for tvs fiero f2 so there was a feature already however the brands or the product, the companies didn't identify or differentiate as a feature 
once it is identified and it is sold as a value to the product it became a hot cake sell so the point of discussion here is as a marketer the marketing job is to identify the need also expect the need and then satisfying the need profitably where the customer gets the value for his money and the marketer gets benefited for his business now what can be marketed we use so many products in our day to day life for example we can uh, talk about marketing of goods and services we can market experience which is called your consulting service we can also market events we talk about in event management we can market people we talk about personal branding if you look at today the uh, the brand value of sachin tendulkar or mahender singh dhoni or amitabh bachchan is much more higher than even corporate product brands because that is the power of personal brands we can sell information we can market information we can sell ideas if you remember the idea ad an idea can sell now ideas can be sold you can sell the real estate or properties you can sell a person you can sell experience so all these talk about the various varieties of marketing of products and services that can happen by the marketers so overall when you talk about this particular products to be sold now there comes the role of competitors selling different products of their choice their strategy and their design now there comes the role of marketing mix now what is marketing mix if i bought a product which is excellent but it is too pricey then will i have the business done for it if my product is very good price is very competitive but it's not available whenever the customer looks for will it be having a business now if you remember there was a time called Pep pepsi blue was launched there was massive advertisement on newspapers on television but when the customers went and asked the nearest or neighborhood bakery then the bakery fellow didn't know what is blue pepsi after so many days the blue pepsi reached the bakeries however the customers had already forgotten what is blue pepsi so the point of discussion here is you must integrate your promotion with distribution your product may be excellent your product may be very very affordable price but it should have also the right distribution it should be available in the right place otherwise the best product also fails in the market so this marketing mix is nothing but selling the right product to the right customer in the right place the right time with the right price tag so all together this is called the marketing mix comprising of the product the price the distribution or promote the distribution of the place right place and the promotion these are called the four piece of marketing or the marketing mix now as time has passed now we have reached a different stage where the four piece of marketing have gone beyond four piece to seven piece for example when i am selling a healthcare service like a doctor service here the role of people become very important therefore people have become the fifth p now next when people have become more important then comes your process now how a person how a tour and travel operator takes you through the journey that will decide the customer satisfaction therefore process and the third the seventh one is your positioning now please understand in the competitive market everybody sells the same kind of products similar products then whose product will be of the highest selling or whose product will be sold or preferred by the customer the product which has got a right positioning for example look at a product like detol we use now what is detol basically is an antiseptic liquid but you also know that detol is a very good anti dandruff shampoo now you may smile at it because detol has got a medicinal uh, property however have you ever seen detol advertising that it is anti dandruff shampoo no the reason is the moment it says anti dandruff shampoo its competitors become much more but as a anti uh, septic liquid its sole competitor is only sablon 
no business would like to have more competitors therefore you have to have the right positioning the right kind of brand image in the customer's mind so therefore the positioning the seventh p is very very crucial today because the competition has grown multiple and uh, the kind of marketplaces the customer behavior the trends have so swiftly changed that you must have the right combination of this piece of marketing so based on this you can always say that marketing is a combination of number 1 it's a philosophy of business two is an attitude of the company of the entrepreneur because marketing orientation must be there with the competitors with the businessman with the entrepreneur third is perspective how do you look at the market this marketing perspective will take the company to the next level next is a management orientation are you looking business from a customer's perspective customer's orientation or from your own orientation or own product because please understand no company has been successful with a product orientation there were time people wanted to buy a scooter it was only bajaj chetak scooter today you cannot afford to say that i am the only product in the market you have got n number of substitutes therefore you must have a customer orientation these plus marketing is a set of activities which include these four piece management again repeat product price place and promotion so to summarize the fundamentals of marketing is basically it is a philosophy of business where you identify the needs of a customer you anticipate the need of the customer and fulfill the need with the right combination of product price distribution and promotion so i hope the learners have understood what is the role of marketing and how marketing plays a very vital or crucial role in our day to day life